Good morning everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today we are going to answer some questions. I guess everybody's very much aware of the eyewitness news video footage I've been posting, the one with Patty Hearst, etc. Uh, but I thought maybe I'd walk through the, the questions I've been getting of people asking about the quality of that. Yeah, it, it is some pretty killer quality on, on, on the video of those particular episodes or of those news clips. Anyways, I've been getting people asking me about the quality, and let me just explain to people who might be newbies here that might not know what I do. Of course, everybody knows I do a lot of videotape restoration from one inch broadcast and you name it EIAJ, Sony Pilot Tone, uh, to ProRes, Beta, Betamax, you name it. We collect a lot of vintage video uh, tape, uh, tape programs from like the 1970s, which is the only ones I really prefer. And late 70s, um, I'm not much into the real 80s, 80s or 90s stuff. I'm pretty much more prevalent for the 1970s and earlier stuff. Anyways, the eyewitness news video footage you guys are watching that was done on Patty Hearst and another one I'm posting in another partial. So you guys can see the quality of, of that those news broadcasts. Those were done on an EIAJ machine. This is a Panasonic NV3160, the best EIAJ in my opinion. This is a color editor. Um, I do. I did most of all those transfers came off of this particular machine. This particular machine has killer tracking, and also you could do external sync and various different things with time-based correction. This is a very very high-end deck. It's half-inch videotape on reel-to-reel. -reel. And it was a pretty much a prevalent unit from the 1970s. The eyewitness news uh, footage was transferred and recovered off of this machine. It was not film, people. This was actual videotape uh, transferred from actual videotape. And this is the tape it was done on. Uh, this was a very, very good machine from the late, you know, 73, 74, when color EIAJ machines uh, started coming into phase before Betamax. So that's how it was done. It was done on an EIAJ color machine from 1974. It's reel-to-reel, -reel, such as this. And if you got good equipment, good time-based correction and all that, and if it was recorded great, you know, like, like the other video equipment, as long as it was recorded good, but it seems like this guy had a, either he had early cable at that time or the quality of his antenna signal i don't know what the deal was but the video signal of these eyewitness news videos are just absolutely insane it looked they look like broadcast copies i don't know if he had uh, an early uh cable tv because cable tv came out pretty early in the 70s i don't know exactly when maybe he had cable tv uh, maybe he had a direct signal with an uh, aerial antenna that was locked in beautiful for a uh, for a broadcast. But I don't know what the deal was. But glad everybody's enjoying the eyewitness news and the quality of these. I, they do vary depending on what machine this guy used in his collection. I did do an awful lot of these tapes. Just want to explain that to everybody out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.